Welcome to Bysmith. Today we learn about tandem mass spectrometry. The tandem means something is getting repeated. So here mass spectrometry is getting repeated, right? So here some, not some, actually two mass analyzers are coupled, but it can be more than two also. So sometimes it is called MSMS or MS square, right? So for identification and quantification compounds in complex mixtures, we will perform tandem smart mass spectrometry now you know that to know uh, to know the mass of some unknown compound we uh, we do the mass spectrometry now if it's if the protein is very large let's say the protein is very large so it will be difficult to get the exact mass of the i mean uh, of that protein it will be difficult uh, i mean by just doing mass spectrometry just once so it is needed to do to be done twice or more than twice right so that's why we tandem mass spectrometry use we use tandem mass spectrometry or msms or ms square now for mainly the protein sequencing of the big protein we naturally perform this now let's see its general structure so you know there are three steps of any mass spectrometry that is the first step is ionization next is mass analyzer and then detector now there is an ion source so this is called precursor ion so there will be one ion source and then mass spectrometry number one will be performed on it and we'll have a spectrum right now we'll take just one peak let's say this peak and again the mass spectrometry will happen this is ms2 right and this time it is called product ion and then mass spectrometry will again perform and we will have msms spectrum so this is the general structure of tandem mass spectrometry now remember for the ionization normally electron bombardment electrospray unit electrospray ionization or maldi are used for ionization so if you don't know about this so you can check my ionization part video of this of this uh, mass spectrometry playlist you can check in the description box or i button you will have the playlist of mass spectrometry so as i have, as i have said after the mass spectrometry one you will have so many peaks right so we can call it partial sequence of the peptide okay now it has to be repeated until all the peaks sequenced that's why tandem right now here after ms1 the ions are fragmented so there are so many fragmentation technique in tandem ms okay so first one is cid or this is collision induced dissociation Actually, this is the most common technique. So mainly, what happens here? Uh, it actually possibly with ESI coupled to triple quad or ion trap. ESI is performed mainly coupled with ion trap or FTICR Fourier transform and also multi top. Remember TOF? TOF is time of flight okay so you can check my previous videos what is maldi what is tof what is ftic here in the playlist you can check another one is ecd or electron capture dissociation now this is done only for multiply charged multiple charged biopolymers and normally here FTIs or ICR is done and some other techniques are right like electron transfer dissociation and like absorption of electromagnetic radiation etc so for collision induced dissociation what happens let's say 
the ion is AB plus and it will be collided with, collided with some neutral atom or any molecule let's say AX so this will be collided and what we will get this and then in the gas phase this will be analyzed further more so what will happen in ECD in ECD the name suggests that is electron capture dissociation that means one electron is added to a multiple multiply charged positive ion let's say there is one ion uh, A plus n number of H with n plus ions its charge okay now with one electron what happens a plus 1 minus of h and n minus 1 plus right and then it is going to get in fragments so what happens is an electron is added to a multiple charge positive ion and the cool of energy is liberated okay now this adding of electron is electron capture dissociation so this, this can be uh, represented by this now ETD is something similar to this here also there will be a positive ion and it will receive receive one electron from an anion let's say this is the anion a minus so what will now happen m plus n minus 1 into h n minus 1 plus and a will be neutral so this is the main idea of tandem mass spectrometry now it has severe applications okay like in biotechnology uh, in biotechnological purpose pharmaceutical purpose okay some like to determine chemical structure of drugs and drug metabolites or quantification of impurities okay metabolites in I mean in the metabolites in biological fluids or tissues high throughput drugs in uh, I mean screening or something like analysis of liquid liquid mixtures okay clinical testing and, to and toxicology like in one energy metabolism cancer diabetes so in very in very large aspect the tandem mass is used so in short for a large protein or big protein it's difficult to get the mass of this unknown protein by just doing one time mass spectrometry so that's why you are doing tandem mass spectrometry or repeating here so it's nothing but doing the mass spectrometry twice with the precursor and with the product time and here mainly the ionization techniques are EI, ESI, MALDI, etc. And here the fragmentation, fragmentation techniques are important that is done after the MS1. So we will have one peak of the MS1 uh, spectrum and then we will fragment it with collision induced dissociation or electron capture dissociation or electron transfer dissociation. And then we will check the final mass spectrum that is after the second mass spectrum. So this is the sole idea of mass spectrometry. Hope you will understand the tandem mass spectrometry. Thank you.